Hello viewers, in this lecture, we are going to learn how a MATLAB code can be designed for right product rectangle rule to approximate Riemann level fractional integral. This formula or the rule I have derived in third part of lecture number 10. So, I would advise you that you must watch that lecture. I will provide its link in the description box. So this is the rule that I have just enclosed within the rectangular box. You can see that here this index k starts from 1 to j and then there is a constant h power alpha divided by gamma of alpha plus 1 and then inside the summation sign you have the terms like j minus k plus 1 whole power alpha minus j minus k power alpha and this complete uh, expression is being multiplied with the function value at x k. So this is the rule we discussed in third part of lecture number 10. So in today's lecture, I will show you that how can we design its MATLAB code. So let's go to the MATLAB M file. So here we go. On line number 12, you can see that I have mentioned some important commands so that if there is any previous command on the previous result on the command window, it can be cleared. And then on line number 14, what you see is format compact what this command will do, it will represent or it will show up the lines of the output without much space among them. So although it is not a necessary command, but I have mentioned for the sake of convenience. After that, on line number 18, you can see that we have some important inputs such as step size 0.1. The lower limit of the integration is 0, the upper limit of the integral is 1 and the integration interval is starting from x1 this step with the step size h up to the last value, the upper limit. And then j stands for the number of steps. Finally, you can see that we have this fractional order that I have arbitrarily chosen. So it is 0 0.845. You can choose any number for this value alpha. Then I have taken the function that is required to be integrated. So that function is chosen by me as sine x. Once again, you can choose any other function. After that, you can see the algorithm starts. And here, the point to be noted is that index k that you saw in the rule on the slide that index was starting from 1 to j now here the, in the code k is starting from 2 to j because in the when we write by hand k1 is actually k1 stands for the second value because if we want to write the first value then we should have written k starts from 0. So if we have written in the formula k is starting from 1, it means in the MATLAB k is starting from 2. So this is what we need to keep in mind. After that, you can see that on line number 32, I have mentioned here that constant which was standing in front of the summation sign. So that constant is h power alpha divided by gamma of alpha plus 1. And then we have this formula finally that actually is the rule called the right rectangle product rule. So this constant is being multiplied with the summation and then we have similar sort of notations that I had just shown you in the rule which was written on the slide. So altogether these three lines are the important lines for the for designing the code okay so the 
code for the rule is designed now i have to mention the exact solution so that i can compare the errors so you can see that the exact solution for the function that i have chosen sin x is available so that exact solution i have mentioned here let me also tell you that this exact solution for the function sin x i have already discussed in one of my previous lectures i will provide that link in the description box okay so now you can see after mentioning the exact solution we can easily compute the absolute errors on line number 48 is the formula for computing the absolute error so exact minus approximate which we are getting from this right rectangular rule to approximate the rl fractional integral and after that i am going to display the results so finally you can see that the results are being displayed in a matrix form which is mentioned on line number 54. So the first element is J. So it means in the first column I will be getting the values of these steps. How many steps are taken? H is a step length or step size. Then the third element would be the exact answer. Fourth element will be the approximate answer. And finally the fifth element will be the absolute error. So let's run this code and keep in mind that I have taken the step size 0.1. So I'm going to run the code and now I will go to the command window to see the results. So you can see these are the results. Steps are 10, step size 0.1, exact answer, approximate, and then you have absolute error of about 4.4485 10 to the power minus 2. So now let's go to the code again. And now here I am going to decrease the step size to 0 0.01 and I would comment this line. I will run the code again and then I will decrease the step size, run the code again, decrease the step size, run the code again, last time decrease the step size, run the code again. And now go to the command window to see the results. Look at the pattern of the errors this is what i want you to note down this pattern of the absolute errors 10 to the power minus 2 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 so error is actually decreasing by one order of magnitude it means that the method is a first order accurate method so as you decrease the step size the error is also decreasing by one order of magnitude as we are also decreasing the step size by one order of magnitude. So that's it. This is all about the coding of this uh, right rectangle product rule to approximate the Riemann level fractional integral of order alpha. Finally, I would request you to like, share and to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching the lecture.